1. Adversary Tactics Techniques Attackers Use to Breach and Compromise Systems 2. Threat Intelligence Information about potential or current threats that helps organizations prepare for or respond to attacks. 3. Indicators of Compromise IOC Evidence that a system has been breached or attacked, such as unusual log entries. 4. Behavioral Analytics Monitoring and analyzing user behavior to detect anomalies that could indicate a security threat. 5. User and Entity Behavior Analytics UEBA Tools that use machine learning to detect unusual behavior by users or devices. 6. Incident Response Plan A set of instructions designed to help detect, respond to, and recover from a security breach or cyber attack. 7. Malware Analysis The process of understanding malware's functionality, origin, and impact. 8. Threat Hunting Actively searching for cyber threats within a network rather than waiting for automated alerts. 9. Anomaly Detection Identifying unusual system or network behavior patterns that may indicate a security breach. 10. Security Operations Center SOC, a team that continuously monitors and responds to security incidents in real time. 11. Risk Assessment Identifying potential threats to an organization's systems and evaluating their impact. 12. Attack Surface The total number of entry points a hacker could use to access a system. 13. Data Exfiltration The unauthorized data transfer from a computer or system often done covertly by attackers. 14. Advanced Persistent Threat APT A long-term, targeted attack by an adversary who remains undetected to steal data or cause damage. 15. Vulnerability Scanning Automated tools that scan systems for weaknesses that attackers could exploit. 16. Patch Management the process of regularly applying updates to systems and software to fix security vulnerabilities. 17. Phishing. Fraudulent emails that trick users into revealing sensitive information or clicking malicious links. 18. Spear phishing. A more targeted form of phishing aimed at specific individuals or organizations. 19. Reconnaissance. The initial phase of an attack where an adversary gathers information about a target. 20. Exploitation. Taking advantage of a vulnerability to breach a system or network. 21. Penetration testing. Pen testing. Simulated cyber attacks designed to find vulnerabilities that attackers could exploit. 22. Privilege escalation. Gaining elevated access rights after exploiting a vulnerability to perform unauthorized actions. 23. Lateral movement. Moving through a network after initial access to gain more control or compromise other systems. 24. Data loss prevention, DLP. Tools and processes used to prevent sensitive data from being leaked or stolen. 25. Zero day vulnerability. A vulnerability that is exploited by attackers before the software vendor can release a patch. 26. CM Security Information and Event Management A tool that collects and analyzes security data to detect and respond to threats. 27. Denial of Service DOS. An attack that overwhelms a system with traffic, making it unavailable to users. 28. Distributed Denial of Service DDoS, a larger scale DOS attack that uses multiple compromised devices to flood a target with traffic. 29. Botnet, a network uh, of compromised computers controlled by a hacker to carry out attacks like DDoS. 30. Command and Control, C2, the way attackers control compromised devices in a network or botnet. 31. Honeypot, a decoy system set up to attract and monitor attackers to study their methods. 32. Kill Chain A step-by-step -step model of how cyber attacks are carried out, from reconnaissance 
to exfiltration. Ship 33. Purple Team. A team that combines offensive red and defensive blue tactics to test and improve security. 34. Forensics. Investigating a cyber attack by collecting and analyzing digital evidence to understand what happened. 35. Post-incident review. An analysis of a security incident after it has been resolved to learn from it and improve future responses. 36. MITRE ATTACK FRAMEWORK A knowledge base of tactics and techniques used by attackers helping organizations defend against them. 37. FALSE POSITIVE When a security system incorrectly flags legitimate activity as malicious. 38. FALSE NEGATIVE When a security system fails to detect an actual malicious activity. 39. LOG ANALYSIS Reviewing logs from systems and applications to find signs of security breaches. Chimati. Network Intrusion Detection System, NIDIES. A tool that monitors network traffic for signs of attacks or unauthorized activity. 41. Network Intrusion Prevention System, NIPS. A tool that not only detects suspicious activity, but actively blocks it. 42. Endpoint Detection and Response. EDR, a tool that monitors devices, endpoints, for suspicious activity and responds to potential threats. 43. Vulnerability Management, a process that identifies, evaluates and prioritizes vulnerabilities and takes steps to mitigate them. 44. Security Orchestration, Automation and Response. Door a tool that automates and coordinates responses to security threats. 45. Root Cause Analysis Identifying the fundamental cause of a security breach to prevent it from happening again. 46. Heuristic Analysis A method of detecting new or unknown malware by analyzing its behavior. 47. File Integrity Monitoring FIM. A process that checks files for unauthorized changes often used to detect malware. 48. Whitelisting. Allowing only pre-approved applications to run on a system, blocking everything else by default. 49. Blacklisting. Blocking specific applications or programs from running on a system. 50. Zero trust architecture. A security model that assumes no device or user should be trusted by default even if they are inside the network. 51. Security Awareness Training Educating employees on recognizing and responding to security threats, such as phishing. 52. Access Control List ACL A list of rules that define who can access specific resources on a system or network. 53. Risk Mitigation Actions taken to reduce the severity or likelihood of a security risk. 54. Risk transfer, shifting the impact of a risk to another party, such as through cyber security insurance. 55. Residual risk, the risk that remains after security controls are put in place. 56. Malvertising, using online ads to spread malware by tricking users into clicking on a malicious link. 57. Farming, Redirecting a website's traffic to a fraudulent site without the user's knowledge, often through DNS manipulation. 58. Advanced Encryption Standard, AES. A widely used encryption standard for securing sensitive data. 59. RSA. A popular asymmetric encryption algorithm used to secure data transmissions. 60. Transport Layer Security, TLS a protocol used to encrypt data between a user and a server, protecting it from eavesdropping. 61. Secure Sockets Layer, SSL, an older encryption protocol replaced by TLS, still sometimes referenced in web security. 62. Incident Management, coordinating the detection, response, and recovery from security incidents. 63. Third-party risk management. Assessing the security risks associated with vendors or contractors 
that have access to your network or data. 64. Chain of custody. A process that documents the handling of digital evidence from collection to presentation in court. 65. Penetration tester, pen tester. A security professional who simulates cyber attacks to find vulnerabilities in systems. 66. Least privilege. Giving users only the access they need to do their jobs and nothing more. Reducing risk. 67. Privileged access management, PAM. A system that manages and controls access to critical systems and data by high-level users. 68. Asset management. Keeping track of hardware and software assets within an organization to ensure they are protected. 69. BYOD. Bring your own device. A policy that allows employees to use personal devices for work, often requiring specific security measures. 70. Network segmentation. Dividing a network into smaller parts to limit the spread of attacks and improve security. 71. Threat modeling. Identifying the most likely threats to a system and developing strategies to defend against them. 72. Log correlation. Analyzing logs from different systems to identify patterns and detect security incidents. 73. Ransomware. Malware that locks or encrypts data and demands payment to unlock it. 74. Time-based one-time password, TOTP. A temporary password that changes after a short period is used for authentication. 75. Keylogger. Malware that records a user's keystrokes to steal sensitive information like passwords. 76. IPsec. Internet Protocol Security, a protocol suite used to secure internet communications by authenticating and encrypting data. 77. Virtual Private Network, VPN, a tool that encrypts your internet connection, making it more secure and private. 78. Threat Actor, an individual or group that carries out a cyber attack. 79. Exploit and a technique used to take advantage of a vulnerability in a system or application. 80. Data breach. An incident where sensitive, protected, or confidential data is accessed without authorization. 81. Patch. An update to software that fixes bugs, improves performance, or closes security vulnerabilities. 82. Data classification. The process of organizing data based on its sensitivity and the protection level required. 83. Data masking. A technique used to hide sensitive information by replacing it with fictitious data. 84. Threat vector. The path or means by which a threat actor can gain access to a target. 85. False positive rate. The frequency of legitimate activity being incorrectly flagged as malicious by a security system. 86. False negative rate. The frequency at which actual malicious activity goes undetected by a security system. 87. Continuous monitoring. Ongoing network activity observation to detect real-time security threats. 88. Incident containment. Actions taken to limit the spread or damage of a security incident. 89. Escalation. Notifying higher levels of management or technical teams when a security incident requires additional resources. 90. Deception technology. Tools used to deceive attackers by providing fake data or systems to divert and observe their tactics. 91. Command. Injection. An attack that involves injecting malicious commands into an application to manipulate or gain control of a system. 92. Account takeover. ATO. An attack where an adversary gains control of a legitimate user's account. 93. Red team versus blue team exercise. A simulated attack, red team, against a defense team, blue team to test an organization's security. 94. Remote access, Trojan, rat. Malware 
that allows attackers to control a system remotely. 95. Security Playbook. A set of predefined steps that guide security teams in responding to specific incidents. 96. Threat Landscape. The overall state of cybersecurity threats, including trends, actors, and tactics used by attackers. 97. Vulnerability Remediation. The process of fixing or mitigating security vulnerabilities. 98. Chain of Exploits. A series of vulnerabilities that an attacker exploits in succession to gain deeper access into a system. 99. Incident Eradication. The process of removing the cause of an incident, such as malware or compromised accounts, from a system. 100. Log Retention Policy. Guidelines that specify how long security logs should be kept for analysis and compliance purposes.